Welcome to W.B. Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. The Mets returned to action after the All-Star break on Friday night and got outscored by the Phillies 13-8. to Jeremy Hefner, who was so hot going to the All-Star break, just did not have it tonight. You know, it's interesting. Uh, his starts that have been real poor have been against the Philadelphia Phillies. He had that one start where he didn't record an out in the first inning. This one wasn't much better. Only went two plus innings, ten hits, eight earned runs, and after he'd fought so hard uh, since uh, June 4th, having the best ERA in the major leagues, uh, just wasn't to be tonight. Probably didn't hit a spot the entire first inning. Did he want anything he wanted to throw? He didn't throw it there. Um, <clears throat> came in the dugout after he got the pitcher out and kind of thought he might be settling in and and uh, you know again the third inning didn't make didn't throw a ball where neat one needed to. It was execution. Um, you know a couple not hard hit balls dropped in and um, you know previously especially the last two months those balls were getting caught um, and that's not the defense's fault by any means it's just part of the game so um, I got to execute better I got to be better um, put the team in a horrible situation um, I needed to be a lot better than I was tonight especially coming out of the break um, trying to set a good tone and, and I didn't do that could have been the uh, seven days he's been off but certainly uh you know, I know he's pitched a lot better than he has tonight. This was certainly something we were surprised as anybody that would happen. He's been throwing so well. Yeah, I don't know what it is about those guys. You know, they're they're a good team, obviously. Um, they're a veteran team. I just um, I know how to get them out. Um, I just didn't execute. Chase Utley had a big night with a triple and a two-run homer. The Mets fell behind 11 to nothing, but they did plenty of slugging of their own tonight. Well, they came back in the middle innings, Gare. Marlon Bird hit his, uh, what, his 16th home run, a three-run shot that got the Mets on the board. David Wright got a two-run shot in the ninth inning late, but uh, the Mets didn't quit. They banged out 12 hits. A lot of guys got base hits. This is the first game since coming back from the All-Star break. Four days off. That first one is always a kind of get it back in gear again. You want to get that hit in the first first game to get rolling for the second half. But just too much Philly offense tonight. They hit uh, three home runs and just uh, put the Mets too far behind way too early. We could have easily rolled over a uh, hot game like that. It would have been easy just to roll over and give away at-bats. And I don't, you know, after that, I don't think our at-bats even got even better after we were down. So that uh, says a lot for everybody. Tell you what, down 11 nothing, make it a game. Pretty impressive by our guys. So the Mets will try and get even on Saturday afternoon. Zach Wheeler makes the start against Cole Hamels. Our coverage on Picks 11 Saturday begins at 1 o'clock. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.